morning, today we are taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. Now, Ultra Magnus is back in his baby blue powder form, and, well, I gotta say, this figure is pretty cool. Now, you might be wondering, why am I saying this figure is cool when this guy is nothing more than a repaint slash remold slash redo of the original Power, or Power Rangers, yes, of the original R.I.D. Prime. So, here they are together. As you can see, Ultra Magnus is sporting some awesome shoulder pads. He also has remolding in the chest here. Brand new head for Ultra Magnus, obviously. But everything else is exactly the same color Or, um, I'm sorry, not exactly the same. We uh, also have different arms here. The big differences are, one, the color. I think powder blue works for this mold a lot more. And two, none of this clear plastic crap. None of that crap, so that's good. Posability is exactly the same as Prime. Head is on a swivel. Ball joint in the shoulder, swivel just above the elbow, elbow bends 90 degrees, no torso articulation. Ball joint in the hip, swivel underneath that, Knee bends more than 90 degrees. This figure looks, as I said, really good, and I really like the look of the powder blue. Now, posability-wise, there is a slight issue. These hips are just a little bit too loose for my taste. And I know I always have trouble with the uh, hips being loose on figures. I don't know why. Hasbro just hates me. Oh, and there's a ball joint here in the back of the foot as well. Now... This figure has a couple of extras that come with him. He comes with some missiles. The Forge of Solus Prime in silver instead of gold. And this awesome backpack. It kind of looks like the backpack that Prime used in the third in Dark of the Moon. Eh, oh well. So we'll put the Solus Prime hammer and the backpack off to the side. First up, the missiles. The missiles drop easily into the very top of his shoulder pads. And he looks absolutely ridiculous like this until you fold the shoulder pads forward. And there he has nice giant missiles. Now, unfortunately, these are not spring-loaded missiles. These are just the push kind. So you have very little room to push the missile. Though they fire a good distance. If it didn't hit a box, it would be... Well, by the trajectory, I'd say it'd be clear, clear across the basement. So these guys have some good firing to them. Yeah, that got a good foot in height. Attaching the jetpack is a little bit on the tricky side because you have to put this blue component back behind his neck. So turn him around and get this lined up. Oh, wait, that's not working. What is going on here? Well... What I like to do is first push these panels down, make sure that this is pushed up all the way, and then push it up against the back of his head like that, and then they will drop down and peg into these pegs right here. And getting that lined up is not exactly easy sometimes. So once I do that, then I can fold these panels back up a little bit, though it is a little bit on the tricky side. Normally, I just leave the panels splayed open like that so he can have the backpack. Yeah, it does look a little silly from, from the front, but it works. So here's Ultra Magnus fully decked out with backpack and hammer and Solus Prime hammer. He looks really good. I like the way he looks. I really like the use of this mold as Ultra Magnus, plus the additions of the backpack and the hammer really add some nice at, or nice additions to this figure. I kind of wish, though, that, you know, just moving it, he didn't have a tendency to fall forward because the, the figure is just way too top-heavy. But I'm going to have to do some things to the hips to make them a little bit tighter and tighten up the ball joints in his feet. The feet joints are a little bit loose as well. But overall, the look of the figure in robot mode with all of his, uh, all of his extras is very, very cool. Here's Ultra Magnus next to Voyager Class Prime. Now, I will say Prime is a better figure, than I, and I like him a lot better, but Magnus works. I mean, Magnus, besides the hip issue, the mold really works for Magnus quite well. Yes, it's a rehash of an existing mold, which Hasbro seems to be really enjoying doing lately, but 
together on the shelf, they both look really cool, though it is nice to see that Prime not only has a bigger weapon, but bigger wings. If you just want to store all the weapons on his back, the Forge of Souls Prime fits nice and snugly on that backpack. You may remember that we already have an Ultra Magnus figure from the Transformers Prime R.I.D. line. Well, I'm happy to report that I like this guy much more than this guy, and chiefly because this one has a lot more paint apps and just looks much more better, much more better, yes, much more of a cohesive figure than this Ultra Magnus. This Ultra Magnus is just purely blue with some highlights. This one has more definition in his body. Another thing I like better on the, on the Beast Hunters figure is that the head sculpt seems to be more in line with what we're seeing in the show, and it looks tougher. I know that sounds silly, but it looks just looks a little bit tougher, plus it's got better paint apps. Not only do we have the face painted, but we also have the antenna and the, um, the little thing in the crest in the front of his head. That is also painted. Now, I find that odd because normally Hasbro would forego painting something like that, but I'm really glad they did. He also has light piping in this figure as opposed to the other figure from R.I.D. That one doesn't really have much in the way of light piping because his eyes are painted green. Just I like this head sculpt better. Transformation for Ultra Magnus is the same as Voyager Prime, so if you have that figure, you know what we're in for here. I'm going to start off with the feet, just rotate the feet in towards the legs and fold them up to the inner leg. Then come around to the top of the figure and pull the chest off the figure and then rotate it down towards the crotch. Take the arms and flip the arms around and fold the hands up. Take the shoulders and pull the shoulders up and then they will swivel around. Or pull them down and they will swivel around. And then we fold the, flip the head up into the body. Fold the shoulders in towards the body and just get everything lined up with the, oops, yeah, stupid me. So, the chest piece, there is a little piece under the Autobot symbol that folds up into the cavity. Then that whole piece rotates forward because the red piece will become the front uh, windshield. And collapse that into underneath and then fold that under the arm, getting the legs out of the way. Again, do the same thing over here. Fold that in and then flip this underneath the canopy and just make sure that everything is out of the way, which I am doing a terrible job of. Once I stopped sucking at the transformation, I was able to get everything lined up to where we need it to be. So we've got the arms and the hands underneath the canopy here to form the front of the truck. Then fold the shoulder bits together and then clamp them together and then fold them over to form the wind scoop on the truck and make sure the missile pods are pointing straight back. Then take the legs and the shins, put the legs straight and fold them down as far as they will go, and then the shins will flip up and underneath the arm pieces. And then bring the legs together, and then the, the shin pieces will actually peg into the bottom of the arm pieces. Then we can bring the section that was the backpack up and get it pegged up underneath the trunk lid, or the, yeah, the trunk lid, the hood. Snap that closed, bring up the sides. And there we go, here we have the truck mode. Now it is virtually identical to the original Voyager class figure, except for obviously the paint, and well, these bits sticking off the back. They are not on that original figure. The other, difference, the other differences have to do with paint. So as you can see, we've got a different Autobot symbol. I really think that should be red, not powder blue. The no clear plastic here for the windscreen. Instead, we have this dark blue and red. On the side here, as you can see, there appears to be, well, they appear to be the same almost, except for the paint. There's uh, no... Um, I don't know what color that is. Gray, yes, gray here on the side of the door. The kick plate and the t gas tanks are the same color. 
No smokestack, which I was actually kind of surprised at, but I'm glad it's not there, actually. Then the rear, we've got a, as you can see, we've got these bits and the wonderful chrome here where we don't have chrome there. One thing to note, the wheels are exactly the same. They are the exact same wheels. In fact, many of the components on both of these figures are exactly the same. It's just shaped the same. I mean, they're, they're molded exactly the same, and that is obviously a cost-cutting issue. Oh yeah, the other extra, um, you don't have these Minicon slash weapon ports here on the side either. But overall, um, I actually kind of like Ultra Magnus in vehicle mode better. And here are the two Ultra Magnuses compared to each other. Again, this figure is a little bit shorter, but I think he's better. I think he just looks better than the Ultra Magnus that we ended up with in R.I.D. Plus, I, I really think Ultra Magnus needs to be powder blue for some reason. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is actually giving his vehicle mode some wings. So, what we're going to do is take the backpack, fold the connector piece down, pop off the missiles, then take the Forge of Solus Prime and peg it in such that the hammer part is pointing towards the rockets. Fold up the wings and then kind of fold them down like that. And actually, you want to fold them down such that the connector pegs where, that hold the missiles in robot mode are actually behind the hammer. And then we can attach the missiles to the side here, like this. Now, to connect it, what we do is we take the shoulder pieces and actually fold them out, put the Solus Prime hammer bit, push that all the way in, and that is, should allow us to connect the wings. Sometimes that doesn't work though, so what I like to do is I like to put the wings on first, and getting them on is a little bit tricky, but once you hear it snap into place, you're good to go. And then take the Forge of Solus Prime and slide it down. And just get everything lined up. Actually, that bit is supposed to peg in there. All right, there we go. That's the way it's supposed to look and then put the wings up. And there we go. So we've got a <laughs> we got something absolutely ridiculous coming off the back. Now, one thing another thing you could do is pull the missiles off and then deploy the wings. <laughs> so like Prime in so like the other Prime in vehicle mode, he could fly <laughs> in vehicle mode. That looks absolutely ridiculous. I normally just keep it po posed like this. Overall, Beast Hunter's Ultra Magnus is a pretty darn good figure and a fantastic redo of the original R.I.D. Prime Voyager mold. I think this figure is a vast improvement over that, over that other figure by leaps and bounds. It's a good figure and pretty easy to, to deal with. He does have that weird little hip issue, but that is fixable. So guys, I hope you go out and pick this one up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and I will catch you guys next time.